Okay, I think I got it working. I had to like log back in to EA and every time I try to log into the EA app, it tells me that my password is wrong and that's just rude, isn't it, Lily? Yeah, you wanna say hi? You're being so rotten. Um, but every time I log into the EA app, it tells me that my username and password is wrong and that's just rude. I got a new custom loading screen. And then don't pay attention to those mods. They're not like, you know, disturbing mods or anything. But anyway, um, okay. So <laughs> here's beans. But um, actually, I built in Oasis Springs. This build, I think, is in Willow Creek, though, I think. The thing is, like, I get so lost, and I don't remember where I put my builds at. I think it's in Willow Creek. Let's see. Um, yeah, here it is. Okay, we're gonna get in here. And I have the music turned off. I guess I can turn it back on real quick. I just don't like listening to it whenever I build because it's low key loud is F. We can turn it back on though because we'll need, you know, some type of. Let's see. Hello. Audio. There we go. Good deal. Okay, so let me bring up the floor plans here so we can look at those. So I can look at those so I can see. Let's see. Because I forgot like the layout. I'm really bad about building stuff and then like letting it sit for freaking a week or two. And then I just forget about it. Okay, let's see here. This one, okay, cool. Let me shrink this just a little bit and then I'll change this one. There we go. Oh, is it going to change both of them? Dang it, it is. Lame. Okay. I don't know why. But anyway. That's lame. Okay. Here's what we're going for. I'm going to try to keep this off to the side here. Let me add an image. Yes, thank you very much. Add source. Thank you very much. I'm going to put that there in the corner. There we go. Okay. So, this is what we're going for. Um, I had to put up the image here. This is the dining room. I already got the living room done, so I kind of, there we go. It's not super modern or anything, obviously it's from the 1920s, so I want to try to remain like super um, historically accurate on that. Um, I put a little sitting area and a fireplace. Um, the original house has a fireplace on it, it's just like on the other side, but I just felt like this suited this room a lot better. And also I saw the fireplace on the outside of the house, but I didn't see it like in the floor plans on the inside. So I'm not exactly sure what that was all about. But anyways, so yeah. So we have our picture up there of what it looks like. So I guess I'm gonna do the dining room next. Cause this is the dining room. And then this is the kitchen. Also, there's only one bathroom in this joint. And it's right here. Downstairs. This is like a reception area. The stairs go up through here. So I'm guessing that like this is just like, they call it like the reception area on the blueprints. Um, 
but in comparison, this is what it looks like compared to like the picture that we had. So let me largen that picture up here just so you can see it a little better. But yeah, here's what we got going on compared to like our picture. Lay it down a little bit. But yeah, I, I feel like the picture kind of gives me like red vibes for sure, but there's not like a shingle siding in this game that's red. There's just blue. So I just did blue. Also cannot see anything. There we go. But yeah, I did little flower boxes on the front. I haven't finished the front porch. Like I said, I'm a terrible builder because I move around so freaking much. I was just like, I don't know what else to do. So I guess I'll move to the inside of the house then. So that's where we ended up. Um, but yeah. So I did put the, the chimney on this side, but the fireplace is totally over here on this side of the house. So, you know, what can you do? This is like a little reception area here. It says reception hall. You have your hallway, your kitchen, and the only bathroom in the entire house is downstairs here. Um, and then I haven't done the upstairs yet. There's four bedrooms, um which is pretty impressive. Actually, depending on what I want to do to this yard, might actually end up moving this lot somewhere else, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. But anywho. Okay. Let's see here. I think, yeah, so I'm definitely going to do the dining room next. Let's see. Oh yeah. Hey, welcome back, girl. Uh, I had to like reset my password and everything because EA hates me. Also, what are your guys' thoughts on, did you see like all the drama like with them doing like a subscription service for console players? Like for them to have access to like a, a PJ kit or something like that. Um, personally, I would not pay for a subscription service for The Sims. Music is kind of loud. Okay, give me a second. Let me turn it down. I did have it turned off. Desktop audio. Let's turn that down. There we go. That should be better. Yeah, personally, I don't think I would pay for a subscription service. Mm, I would much rather just pay for kits and stuff, like, as they came out. Um, I think I want to pick, like, my wall colors and stuff here first. Uh, also, I don't know what color I want to do. I don't want to do anything, like, super bright, because, like, the 1920s. Also, I don't know. That's, like, the Depression era and stuff. I'm feeling this ugly tile, though, for the kitchen, that's for sure. I think I want to do some wood paneling in the dining room. Let's see what we got. Ooh, though, I kind of low-key like Granny's house. Ooh, I like that. It doesn't really match any of the wood, though. I think this comes like in a different print, though. Wait, there's one. What about this? That's hideous. Hideous. Man, there's one. It's called like the beekeeper or something. It kind of looks like Granny's house a little bit, but then they look like bees, and I think it's a wallpaper. Let me see here. Ooh, this one's cute though. This one. Oh, that's cute. I feel like that's a bedroom though, kind of wallpaper. Fancy floral. Modern brocade. I like this pink. Although I feel like that's like... Look, I just am not great at multitasking. Like, am I... <laughs> I'm just not great. I can't, like, talk. I can't, like, what do they say? Chew bubblegum and walk at the same time. Not that I would trip over myself. It's just, like, I would forget to do one thing or the other. 
Um, you get one or the other, babe. You don't get both. I would just stop walking is what would happen. That is the kitchen vibe. We're going to put that in the kitchen. I want to find the bee wallpaper, though. Fancy floral. That is ugly. I, I, I kind of like that. That gives me depression era vibes. Oh my gosh, I can imagine trying to, like, keep the attention of your class. That's why you're so good at streaming because like you just multitask all day long every day you have to like be able to like engage um with your students so like that's why you're like really good like engaging with your audience and stuff i don't know i'm kind of feeling this ugly i don't know is there green but yeah you have to be able to like engage with your like students and then like ooh, we're doing this it's so ugly it looks like it would give you cancer <laughs> which interesting fact the wallpaper and stuff and the color what they used to do like green colors and stuff with did contain like arsenic and uranium and all that good stuff back in the day um so it was very poisonous so if you had green in your house you were probably like very uh, sickly as well too i think i should have a doorway or an archway in here yeah it's like vomit green like it screams like it screams like, I don't know, depression era to me. I know I have like an archway here. I'll just copy this one and we'll put it here into the kitchen, right? Yeah, that's good. Cause you need to be able to walk from your dining room into the kitchen. Okay, chairs. Let's see, I like this one. It's kind of like an outdoor vibe. I'm gonna search by color green let's see uh ooh. oh that's a seance chair i want something with like a high back and ooh, i like that but a wood's kind of a weird color Ooh, what's that that one no i like these fancy ones that does not match the table though what about this? That's ugly. Retro dinette chair. Mm. Oh, wait. What about that? No, these. These are it right here. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Also, why does this table seem like really small? really weird is it like gonna go oh is it because the doorway is too close i think it is here let me move the table over just a smidge and let me actually just turn move objects on because i'm not moving that table it's perfectly center Tell me I'm not crazy. Hello? What the heck's happening? I know I'm not crazy. Now I'm just an idiot. It's okay. There. <laughs> Okay, I like this table, but I low-key do not like the color. That's better. That one I don't like the white on. That's, oh wait, that has green legs on it. Although the wood grain. Yeah, I think, I think that might be it. It just like kicks me out every once in a while, the EA app does. And then like I have to log in and then it tells me what, Ooh, okay, I like that. It looks like, is that green or gold? I can't tell. That's better. I kind of want to throw down a rug first so I can get like the vibes. 
Let's go to decor. Let's see. Um, I low key kind of like want to move this just a smidge. Also, why is my keyboard doing this? Um, that's more centered with the room because I want to put a china cupboard or like, um, what are they called? A china cupboard. Let's see. A hutch. I want to put a hutch in here. Nope. I want to put a hutch in here. Okay. But not a green one because that's disgusting. Um, okay. I like that, but I wish it was bigger and this is way too big. <laughs> okay. Ooh, the Salvadorian one is gigantic. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I am thinking that I might put carpet in here because I feel like the wood's a little too wood woody. It's just a lot of wood. Unless I can find like a gigantic rug to put in here. Let's go back to decor. See, I told you I'm like everywhere. I do green. Let's see. No. That one's not big enough. That's a little too green. Oh, I like this one. What does it look like? Ooh, I'm loving that. Pull some of the blue in from like the living room. Let's see. I really like this one though too, but I really like that one. That's definitely has like, I feel like I use this one a lot. The Princess Cordelia rug. Thank you. I love it. And the thing is like, I get really, I love the hutch too. I love jungle adventure. Such a good pack. Um, and it goes really well in here too. It's not like super, like it's very, it just blends very well. It looks fantastic. Okay, now we need some wall decor. Although I do think that I want to put some clutter in here, like on the hutch first. Um, I'm going to try to keep everything super period specific. So I'm not trying to put like, oh, what about this olive drawer? That's cute. Also, I don't think I need to be searching by color anymore, but who knows. Um, there's already like, Okay, there's one. I didn't notice this. There's wine bottles built into this. That's super cute. Let's see. What else do we got going on here? A pot of peppers. Ooh, we could put some more plates here. Like, if you're, like, setting the table. Yeah. Do those come in another color? Because I feel like that white blends in too much. Let's do this, like, taupey color for that. Little man's best friend statue. Ooh, a water pitcher. Yes. Uh, it takes me forever to find it, but there's also, like, place settings. Um, You should play through the story mode. Or not really the story mode, but, like, um, in Jungle Adventure, it's not really a story mode. Like, really, like, Stranger... Um, Vil is like the only one that has like a storyline playthrough in The Sims 4, but there kind of is like a story playthrough in Jungle Adventure. You just have to like go to, um, go on vacation to the lots. Um, I am going to stick this in here because I think I want to use it in the kitchen. See how bad I am. Also, I'm going to use that in the kitchen too, so I'm going to stick that over there. Oh, what about this pot? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Yes. Yes. Oh, is there like a teapot? I need like a centerpiece too. Um, using that in the kitchen for sure. I'm gonna stick those over there. Um, the storyline playthrough in Jungle Adventure though is so fun. It's so cute too. Um, I totally got murdered by like one of the skeleton temple things. Um, like he chased me through like the temple. Um, it's so freaking fun. You can like dig for artifacts and stuff. It kind of gives me like um 
I don't even know. It kind of gives me like Laura Croft vibes a little bit, but not really because obviously the gameplay is totally different and it's more like, you know, The Sims, but like you're in a jungle or whatever, but it's so fun. Um, ooh, we need cookbooks in the kitchen. Sorry, look, I told you guys I was all over the place. Um, let's see. I need, let's see, some antique books. Can I put those up on the shelf? They're kind of big. Or I would try to like alt place them up there. So cute. But yeah, I totally got murdered by one of like the skeletons. Like, I don't even know, like a crypt keeper keeper kind of character looking guy. Um, he totally got me. Um and you actually die. Like I was like, oh my gosh. And it was a good thing. Like, I literally saved. I love this plant, too. I put it in, like, all my builds. I don't know what it is about it. Also, it's clipping through the wall. Um, I think I am going to leave this here. But I want, like, something to go on this on the table in the centerpiece. Um, I literally just saved, though, like, right before I got killed. And I was like, oh my gosh. So mad. And then I realized I saved. And I was like, oh, thank God. Kind of like, <laughs> yeah, um, I learned my lesson. Like, I think, like, I, I died, like, in another playthrough or something. Like, really, I like this painting a lot. Really close to around the same time. And I was, like, just, like, obsessively saving my game. And I I don't remember how long ago that playthrough was. I want to put these. Oh, let's see. I want to put something like, ooh, like this yeah like blueprints to this gives me like back to the future vibes it looks like the clock tower blueprints from back to the future let's see i want to put ooh this i've never seen this before and it's a woman yeah bernadette sits uh readily waiting with a quill in her hand and a knowing yet challenging gaze. What's a quill for? It doesn't matter. That's so cool though. It's like a historical piece of art with a woman on it. I'm just going to put it up because girl power. And then uh, I think I am going to smidge these windows over a bit. Probably won't look right on the outside, but it looks so funky with the floor plan. I'm definitely moving them up because that looked terrible. Let's get some window treatments in here. Those are so ugly. What's a quill for? I have no idea. Green? These are low-key ugly. I do not. I'm very picky about the window treatments. That thing is humongous. Is there like a smaller one? I just think all the window treatments in this game are ugly. Like, what is this? I mean, actually, that's low-key kind of cute. And I feel like it goes. I'm over here dissing it, and it actually looks kind of cute. Looks better than this one. God, that was ugly. That's actually cute. I am going to move this over just a smidge. Just a smidge. Now, I still need, like, a centerpiece. I'm not going to put a lot of clutter in here because... I don't know. I want to, like, kind of view it as, like, a... I don't know. I just feel like they wouldn't have a lot of clutter in their house. They would keep, like, a, you know, really nice, like, low-key kind of... Should I put a picture? No, I don't like that. Let's do... Let's see what we got in the flowers department here. Like, a nice little floral centerpiece. Ooh, this one's cute. But I think I have that already in the dining or in the living room. I do. I have two of them. Let's see. This is cute, but it doesn't go on the table. I'll have to alt place it. Oh, that's cute. There's also place settings um, in debug. But I can bring us some here later and have them set the table and take, like, screen captures that way because it will take me forever to try to find those i feel like i need a little bit more clutter in here let's see i just don't like alt placing stuff like 
on counters, like by pressing the nine and zero key. Because then sometimes it, well, most of the time, a lot of the time it floats. Oh, this one's cute. I like this too. Do I like it more than that? No. But would it look cute over here sauced up in the corner though? Yeah, it does. Let me slowly rotate that so it doesn't go into the wall. Oh, that is cute. I like that. And honestly, the graphics on it still look really good when it's sized up. Sometimes they look like garbage. Let's see, I have the hutch in here. Let's see, I feel like I need something else though. Let's look at statues. A nutcracker? Yeah, there are a lot of options. Sometimes I feel like there's too many, so like, when I, this is cute, it'd be even cuter size down. I don't like that though. Um, when I'm, like, I played, like, I'm an original Sims player, and then I didn't play for like years and years and years, because I was like, you know, in my early 20s, and I was like, I want to go out to the bar. I don't want to play video games. I was too cool for video games in the early 2000s. <laughs> but um, didn't really play The Sims 3 that much. I think my brother had it. I played it a little bit because he had it. Um, and then worked like a corporate job for years and didn't have time to play video games because I worked like 10 and 12 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> I think we, I think, I think we all did that. And I'm shocked. Like our parents were, weren't like, what's wrong with you? Why are you killing people in a video game? My mom thought it was totally normal. I would show her my graveyards and stuff. <laughs> um, oh, I like this chicken too. I like him. He's cute. Oh, there's not any more room up here. What if I sauce him down? Hang on, please hold. I think I am going to try to place him on this shelf here. Let's sauce him down one more time. Oh my gosh, yes! See? Oh my god, he's, he's not floating either. Perfect. Look how cute he is! He needed to be in this room. Um, he is so cute. Should I put him another friend? No, I'm gonna put something else in the other corner. What about this little long boy? This little weenie dog? Let's see what he looks like size down. Aww. But then when I started playing The Sims 4, like I was saying, this one might float a little bit. Yeah, it's floating. Darn it. Um, I kind of like bought all the packs at once. <laughs> um, I kind of bought all the packs at once. So I literally find stuff, new stuff all the time. Like where a lot of people that I've been playing since like 2014... I, um, bought, like, The Sims, like, two years ago now, I think. Um, I so desperately wanted to play. I had it on console before that for a few years and never played because it's so hard to build on the console. So, like, begged for a gaming laptop. And my husband, who is so sweet and does anything like I ever want, um, bought me a gaming laptop for my birthday. Um... Of course, I bought all the packs at once. So, like I said, I find stuff in here all the time that I didn't even know was there. So, if, <laughs> that's why, like, to me, like, a lot of the time, like, I just feel, like, overwhelmed with, like, all the options that we have. Because I, like, don't, didn't, like, where everyone, you know, people that bought it, like, in 2014, they've slowly acquired the packs, like, over the years. And I just bought everything at once. So, sometimes I feel, like, very overwhelmed. And I'm like, man, should I have really done that? Like, I feel like I don't even know, like, what the game has to offer because of that. But, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, I kind of want to put something in this corner, but I'm not sure. Let's see here. I was looking at statues. But, yeah, I didn't play for a couple of years. And then, like... I really feel for console players. I, I heard, like, they did this update. Um, I could never play on the console. Like, I just couldn't build for one. They didn't have access to the gallery. Um, 
I feel like I want to play all the stuff I've never done. I don't have time because my legacy challenges have specific rules to follow. Um... Who is it that's on um, YouTube? Um, Rescue Simmer Aaron is doing a Generations Challenge, which I want to try. And I think you should try it too, Maddie. Um, you basically start out with the base game. And it kind of has like rules like that. Where it's like you start for the base game and then you can only use like the base game to build like your sims house and they can only have base game jobs and then like you basically go in chronological order like based off of like which pack comes next like i guess you'd have to like probably like wikipedia it or something to kind of figure out like who what what pack is next but um she's basically playing through like each pack at a time so it's like okay like um, I don't remember what the first expansion pack was, honestly. Um, I think it was, like, Get to Work or Seasons or, like, one of those. So, I think it's Get to Work. And then she, you know, her next generation is the Get to Work generation. So, you can only use the base game and Get to Work with that generation. So, basically, like, you just keep stacking on the expansion packs and kits as you go. So, then that way, um... You kind of see like what the game has available now i know that she doesn't have it like hard locked um she can like see all the items and stuff what i would personally do is probably go through and download james turner's um mod where you can actually which i don't even know how that would work honestly anymore because um there's not like origin you just be able to go through origin and go through your library and like copy and paste like off of james turner's website which um, expansion packs you wanted to work in your game so you could technically like turn off certain expansion packs which I've done before for like build challenges and stuff like that um, that'd probably be like the easiest way to go about it in your game is to like turn them off but honestly like since we have the EA app now I'm not quite sure how you would do that I have not actually recently turned off any packs to do any challenges or anything like that and I know that Aaron hasn't either because if you like try to load up a game that you don't have like a certain pack in it will cause like your sims to go naked and stuff so it's not a good time for anybody yeah I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put in this corner if you guys have any suggestions let me know I was thinking about putting like another plant because none of these statues like really vibe for me um I just feel like I have a plant in every corner. Maybe I'll just put like a chair. Let's see. Let's just put like an extra chair in this corner. You know, that way. There we go. That way if you need to pull up an extra chair to dinner, you can. Um, I think, yeah. I think that's where I'm going to leave the dining room for now. I'm going to move on to the kitchen. Let's put some walls down here. But, yeah. I... It's actually really so much easier to do build challenges and stuff like that if you temporarily. It's not actually uninstalling it. So think of it kind of like as a mod. It just keeps it from opening up like in your game. Um, that's it. Um, but so if you like open a save that you have like a certain pack installed for though. And you still have the mod installed. Like obviously it will cause your sim to be naked. Um, and you can go right back through and turn it off if you need to but don't do it if you're not sure if you have it on or not off ought have it on or not um but yeah but yeah you should try that challenge um but yeah like with the recent update that they had for the base game for console players like they made it really hard to begin with first of all they didn't have access to the gallery that's like one of the reasons like i wanted to um switch over i'm trying to think of oh i like this green color i really like this green color that's why i wanted to switch over from being a console player to playing it on the pc because they didn't have access to the gallery for the longest time which i thought was crap um, they do now, but then obviously you can't install CC or mods or any of that good stuff in your game. I like the sunflower one better. Um, so that's why I made the switch. But then they made it even harder, apparently. Like, they installed... Yeah, no, not having gallery access is wild. 
And I'm like, obviously they had the ability to do it the whole time. Um, or, you know, I think I'm going to put my sink here. Because obviously they have access now. So, like, I don't understand why that was even a thing. Um, I really like this this one. Yeah. Do another color, though. Uh, I think I like the brushed brass better. But now they did, like, this update where... Ooh, I like this fridge. You have to like to go over. So like if you want to scroll, let's say for instance, let me pull up decor here for a minute. If you wanted to like scroll through your inventory like this, you used to be able just to like push the, um, the, uh, the Joy-Con buttons, I guess it would be like on the, on the, uh, the, the, um, joystick buttons if you had this open you could just open the joystick and then scroll down now you have to move your mouse on the console all the way over here to like scroll down like where before you could just like do it like with one of the controllers you have now you have to scroll your mouse all the way over there which is like really hard on the console honestly because it's hard to study it it's not like you have it in your hand like a mouse and you can just like scooch on over there but you know so they've made it even worse so there's like a lot of people that haven't played in like a few weeks since they did that update which is kind of crappy i think i actually might put my fridge over here yeah and then i'm gonna put the stove over here let's see Ooh, I love that <laughs> in city living, they made like a gross swatch for everything. I think that should be more normalized. Like, this is gross looking. I love it. <laughs> uh -huh. They also did like a gross swatch of this. It's a used countertop. Okay. But they kind of did that for the werewolves pack too. They made like, I love the stove. I love it. Where's my spices? I'm going to move my spice rack over here. And then my spatulas and stuff here too. Let's see. Yes, I like stuff that looks gross and dirty. Like, I don't know if you ever saw my trailer park build. But I use like a lot of like gross swatches and stuff in there. Um, not saying that all trailer parks are gross. It was an abandoned, they were abandoned properties. Let's put this on top of the fridge. Cute. Okay. Obviously, we don't have a dishwasher because it's the 1920s. So, let's, I guess we can have a microwave though. Like, mm, let's see. What else do I want to put in here? Maybe a coffee maker? I mean, it can be an older home that's been slightly updated. You need your coffee. Come on. I am going to put... Should I put a smoke alarm in here? Mm, no. I'm going to put a hood vent, though. Even though this one kind of has one built into it. Let's see. Do we have one that's more... That's ugly. That one's ugly too. Wait. Oh, that's cute. Low-key cute. Okay, we're gonna stick that there. And it's worn. Let's do upper cabinets now. I think... What did I pick for the lowers? The... Country or the cottage living ones. That's what I did. It depends on if I put a hood vent in my build or not. If it look, doesn't vibe, if it's not the vibe, I, like, don't put it in. Um, also, I hate how all these look the same. Unless it's, like, a short one. Like, why? And then I can't even freaking place these half the time. They hate me. But yeah, it depends on if my kitchen, like, if I feel like my kitchen needs it or not. 
Let's see what this looks like. Hello? There we go. Excuse me. Ah! Okay, we'll just go in this way because it keeps pushing the camera. That's cute. Okay, so I'm thinking... I don't want to move that down anymore. Should I try to do like a half cabinet here? Will it look bad? I can't tell because now it's clipping. There we go. Let's see. Does that cut the window off? It doesn't. Okay, cool. See, these just all look the same. Why can't they look different? You can put like a half one in, but then it looks freaking weird. Although I think I should do that. Here, I'm going to put you here. And then I'm going to put you. It's not going to cooperate. I'm going to put you don't want to cooperate. Come on. There we go. Golly, it's like pulling teeth. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. It looks kind of weird if you can't see it from the right angle, though. Okay, and then I think... Should I do, like, a full-length moment? I should. We're going to put this here. There. That's so cute. Okay. There we go. It looks weird like this. Like, when you just look at it like this. But if you, like, go down and you, like, put your ceiling up that you can't paint. Even though you could do that in The Sims 3, apparently. Um, it looks so good. And I think I actually am going to bring this down just a smidgen. I want to use the full one, but I can't get it to look right. The full one, what? This? The full piece here? Some of them do look weird. It just depends on, like, I guess, like, where you place it. And then some of them are ugly. What's this one? Yeah, like, this one? That just looks janky to me. Like, some of them are really cute, though. Let's see. I need something on the wall here. Where's their apron? Let's get an apron out. I feel like I need some wall decor in here. Also, I did not put a doorway in there. Um, see, I'm like all over the place. Is it under decor? Where's the apron? Also, there's like stuff that has weird names in here. Let's see. Every time I try to type in, oh, I love that. Every time I try to type in like bottles or something, because sometimes like I'll build a bar and I'll look for like the juiced up bottles can never find them. Also, I want to do that and that blush, too. Yeah. I love those pink flowers. And I need a rug now. Because I don't, you know, you're going to be spending hours in this kitchen washing dishes. Because you don't have a dishwasher. Let's see. It's under clutter. Let's see where the, let's get some mugs in here. I low-key kind of hated this kit at first, but it's so handy sometimes let's put these here and then let's put some I'm actually gonna put let's see cooperate please no it does not like me Well, I'm glad they showed you how to use it because some people, they, like, don't know how to use them. And then they, like, move into houses that have them. And then um, then they end up putting regular, like, did, I had a teacher who did that one time. She said, oh, yeah, like, I didn't know that you're supposed to have special detergent for the, um, for the dishwasher. And I put Dawn dish detergent in it. And she said that she had bubbles all over her house when she got home. There. Yay. Okay, good. I think I'm going to do that instead of on the counter. We'll put the dirty dishes in the sink. That took a minute. But yeah, some people, I'm glad they showed you how to use it because some people don't get that information and they end up putting Dawn dish detergent in them. Um, I think we had one 
as far as I can remember, we've always had one growing up and stuff, but they're definitely like a lot of people prefer to um, wash their dishes by hand because they feel like the dishwashers don't get them clean. But that water gets so freaking hot. I don't think that anything could live through that wash. Thank you. It took me a minute to get them in there, but they're in there. <laughs> I kind of want to put like a picture over here. Yeah, that's cute. Um, I think there's, let's see. I was looking for, not the, I was looking for the parenthood dish rack. I can never find anything in this game. Like I said, it's always so hard for me to find stuff. I definitely want to put the knives in here. Mm. Let's see. Let's do about pack because I'm having a bit of trouble here. Where's parenthood? There it is. Dang, it's not in there. Is it under this? There it is. Okay. I was looking for this dish rack. Does it should it go that way? Yeah, I think so. Let's do... These are all ugly swatches. Let's just do that. That's better. Ooh, I'll need a bread box in my life. I hate having my bread on the counter. I think it's so ugly. I'm going to put the bread box in the corner here and then put this pitcher right here. There we go. Perfect. I just hate having bread out. I constantly stick it in the pantry. And then it goes bad because I forget I have it. So maybe I shouldn't have a bread box. Oh, Lord. Let's see. I think I want to do like a pink vibe for the rug here. Ooh, this one's gigantic. Let's see. I think I want it in front of the sink. No, that's like too dark of a pink. It's almost magenta. You know, I've tried that before. And I got looked at that like I was a crazy person. I feel like it lasts longer though. Somebody, my husband's like, no. It, it molds faster if you put it in the fridge. I was like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Did your boyfriend stick it in the fridge then? Because I'd be down for that. Because I don't want to see it on the counter. It's so ugly. What's this? Fractal rug? Oh, okay. Ooh, what's this? Let's downsize this. That's kind of ugly. Okay, I'm going to search by color. But yeah, I would totally stick my bread in the fridge. That way I wouldn't have to look at it. Oh, we'll just do this little bath mat. That's cute. Although it kind of does have like zero detail in it. It kind of looks like a yoga mat from a distance. Kind of looks like a yoga mat. Let's see what else we got here. We could put some detail on it. No. Okay. No, thank you. Oh, that one's cute too. I think I like that one more. Ooh. What about that one? That one's way too pink. Color builds are like the easiest thing because I'll tell you, like I said, I have so many packs. I don't know what's in all of them. So I'll like instinctually like would just like almost always just pick the default swatch. It's a really bad habit. So I like have to do it by color sometimes. That one's a little too pink, I think. Is there a lighter pink? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what, like, the not so berry challenge is, like, perfect. It definitely, like, lets you know, like, more of, like, what's in the game. I think I'm going to do this one. Oh, my God, I'm making it bigger. Yeah, I like this one better. Although, I'm pretty sure I've already looked at this one. I'm not sure. Should I size it down a little bit more? Let's see. That's this one. What color is this one? Wait, that's the same thing. Is it this one? Nope, that's the same color. Okay. Alright, I'm going to look at a few more pink rugs. See, I don't know. This one has a flower vibe. 
Also, it's more purple than pink. This one's cute. Ooh. What does it look like size down? Ooh, I like that one. That one can go. Bye. I like that one more. I don't know if it really... This one's cute too, but that's not the color. That would be cute for Valentine's Day build. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with this one. I got my pink little aprons here on the side. Ooh, I know what I'm going to put in the reception room now, though. I'm going to put a phone, like a phone corner. Oh, but we don't have phones in this game. But I'm totally going to pretend like we do. I'm going to put, like, because it's like a reception hall. So I'm, like, going to put, like, maybe, like, one, like, I'll put, like, a, a telephone corner here with, like, a chair and a side table. And, like, I could put the cell phone on the table and pretend that's a phone. Um... Because that used to be a thing. You used to have, like, a room just where, like, the phone was. And it just lived there. I need a smaller arch. There we go. Okay. I think I'm just going to hang some artwork up here in the hallway. Let's see what we do in here. Yeah, like a little work from home moment. But, like, for your phone. Because this house would probably, let's see. I assume, like, the reception area is just kind of, like, the informal living room. I would assume, like, an informal slash entryway. Kind of like, you know, there's a coat. There's, like, you put your umbrella. You just kind of, like, just kind of like an informal living room. Okay. Let's see here. I want to put something on this long wall here. And I definitely want to do... This is already in the living room, but I want to do something like it. I feel like we don't have enough, like, landscape art. Um, or abstract art, for that, for that matter. I really like this one. I think I want to put that in the informal living room, though. Um, ooh, that one doesn't really match, though. This one... I think it's also in the living room and then the other one's in the dining room. That's the outer space. That looks like outer space. Let's see. Ooh. Um, I kind of want to do... Gosh, none of these match my vibe. Let's see. Ooh. I feel like this would be... In the stairwell kind of moment. It's like the picture of all the family. You like walk up the stairs and there's like pictures of all your ancestors on the wall. At least there is at my grandparents' house. Ooh. I like this one. Yeah. I like that. We'll put that there. And then I feel like there should be sconce lights here. Probably not like a lot of overhead lighting i might go through and delete all the overhead lights after i'm done because i feel like there would be more wall lighting and i want like a sconce yeah like this or this Ooh, i like that Ooh, that's a moment but what about this yeah, I like that better, and I feel like that's more historically accurate, in my opinion. Um, let me just... Ooh, no! What about these? No, those are ugly. Can't even tell what they look like when they're fully... Yeah, you can. Mmm. Actually, yeah, I think I like those better. We'll put two of those in this hallway. That, that way they don't stick out as much. There we go. That's cute. Okay. Let's do the sitting area or the informal living room. I feel like... Hmm. It's like no walls here. I 
feeling like, what color do you think this room would be? The kitchen's like a pink and green moment. The dining room's a green moment. The formal living room is this blue color. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Hi, Lily. Ooh, I think this, I like this. Yeah, I hear you, Lily. Are these not like the same wallpaper, but like, that's weird. Why can those have been different swatches? I think I want to do a bedroom in this one. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Like I told you, I'm all over the place. I really like this, though. But maybe, like, in a different color. Let's see what we got here. Green and blue. Ooh, wait a minute. No, it's not bold enough. I don't think they have any other colors. It's just the wood that's different colors, I think. Mm, do not love that. Mm, no, let's see. That was kind of like... Hmm. Hmm. That drives me nuts that the door and the windows don't match. It's low-key ugly. It's ugly. Let's see what we have in paneling here. No, thank you. Oh. There's Granny's house. I like this one. I'm going to do this one in this color. I know it's like almost the same color, but I feel like the informalish living room can kind of like lead into the formal living room. I think. Hang on. Am I changing my mind? Where's the B wallpaper? I still can't find it. And I think it's base game. Hmm. Also, how'd that happen? All my swatches are stuck over there. There it is, beehive. I like this one a lot. Let's see. See, it's just the same thing, but it's, like, different. Ooh. I like that. It's so tacky. Okay, I'm going to do that. Bye, Maddie. Have a good dinner. I'll talk to you later. Have a good appetizer for me. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Okay. I definitely want to do a chair over in this corner. Yeah, like a nice setting chair. Oh yeah, like something nice and cozy. Not pink though. That one's blue. Let's see. I want something nice and floofy. Like really nice. And this is low-key ugly and I love it. Should I do that? Is there another color? Ooh. Ooh, I like that color. It's so ugly. I love it. Okay, yeah? Is that the color I want for sure? Yeah, it kind of plays off of the wallpaper there. Okay. Let's get... I definitely want a side table, like a nice little round one. Although I feel like these side tables are gigantic. Ooh, I like this color, too. Let's see. Gold? Ooh, yeah. No. Pink? Yeah. I'm going to size this down, though, because all the side tables are way too big. 
Let's do this. I'm going to move this just a smidge. And then I'm going to move this. And I'm going to put a lamp behind it. Let's see. I want this plain looking one here. So it doesn't cut through. Oops. The wall. There we go. And then I'm going to put a rug under this too. I want a fuzzy rug. Um, although I do like this one too. Mm, not really vibing with that though. Pink? What's this one? I wish they had a circular rug like this. Oops. That had like the same texture on it, but like without the circles on it. Like this one has no texture on it whatsoever. It has a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. I think I'm going to change a color. Ooh, I love it. It's ugly. Does this come in orange? It does, but I think I like it better in the pink. Let's see. I feel like I need to turn it just a smidge. I definitely want to move this closer. Make sure it's not cutting through anything, though. There we go. I'm going to already have a bookcase in the other room. Okay. So, let's start on the entryway. Because I'm definitely going to put, like, a coat rack. And, a, like, I guess, I don't even know what they would call it. They call it a hutch still. It has, like, the clothes and stuff in it. There's, like, one from... I think it's from, let's see, Cats and Dogs. And it's not a hutch. Let's see. Is it in Surfaces? Um, that's not it. Ooh, I like this hutch, though, too. Wow, that thing's gigantic. This. Oh, it's a entryway shelf. Yes. I want that, but I think there's a swatch with clothes on it. Something hanging on it, I think. Ooh, I like that. I guess not. I like that naughty looking wood though better. Okay, so it's under surfaces. What else is under here? There's another one that has stuff hanging on it already I thought yes okay this this is what I want I don't want that I want this one and I want it to face this way and I want it in a different color let's see mm, no like that one no that's well no no that's low-key ugly let's see this one, that one. That one's probably the best option. Yeah, I like that a lot. Now I need an umbrella holder. Where are we at here, umbrella? Um, what's this? A buffet table. I feel like that should be a thing. I don't know if I want that there though. I need a table, but I don't want that one there. I want like, that's cute. I want like one of these tables. They have one that does not have random stuff on it. I did not know that was a thing. I want one, ooh, what's this one? ugly i love it Ooh, what's this nope that's too much it's coming on too strong is that actually a table it's so bad um not that not not this i want something like this yes okay no 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 None of those come in decent colors. That 
That's too Cosmo Lux. It's not old enough looking. Let's see. Ooh. I like that one. Okay, let's put a mirror above it. I need a mirror. Where's the bro? There it is. Vacuum safe. There's another long one in here. There it is. Bro Hill. Bro Hill. Oh, I like that. Let's move it over just a smidge. There we go. Oh, I like this little area. Let's see. Now, I'm going to put another rack over here. And I think it's in clutter. Ooh, let's put some old mail over here. Yeah. And then what else do we need? Let's see. I think I want to put this cell phone with the keys here. I'm definitely going to put these shoes over here by the door. If I can get them to lovely we're gonna put those there and then the rack and then where's the umbrella holder mm. umbrella there it is and then i think i'm gonna put that here because as soon as you open the door you want to put your umbrella there And then I'm going to put, let's see, I'm looking, ooh, I don't like that swatch though. There's other books in here, right? Yeah. That's an elephant one though. No, thank you. Let's see what else we have. Oh, there we go. Vintage books. There. And then I want to put like something to hold like a little dish to put your keys in or something. There's a bowl in this category somewhere. Ooh, let's put tissues over here. Oh, you put stuff on the bottom of that? I had no idea. I wanna move this up just a few notches. Do you think that will be floating? Yes, let's move it down just a little bit. Where'd it go? Down just a smidge. And then maybe up one more because it's not participating. Okay, so I'm gonna move that here. Perfect, because I size that table down because it's too big. There we go. Okay. Now I want a bowl or something. I can put this here, I guess. Oh, okay. I know there's a bowl in here. Let's just type it in and see what we got here. A bowl? Yeah, like this. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. That one's way big. It kind of looks like a sink. That one's ugly. Ooh, let's put a... No, I feel like that's too much. A bowl of fruit? There. I'm going to delete this. Now I want to put a rug. Like a... Maybe like a... Don't like a runner. No, I just want like a regular big rug here decorations Let's see a decent size Ooh, I like that one Let's see is there like a swatch that's not tattered I know there is right no this is from the werewolf's pack so I think they're all tattered okay yes this one however is not have a swatch that's way too big. Ooh, I like that though. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
that's so random. Although I kind of like that swatch. I like this one, but it does not go. I want to keep that one. And then I'm going to put some artwork up. Let's put some artwork up. Also, I low-key feel like that there would be a cobweb there. Just saying. You know. I'm going to keep this one here. I'm going to find something cute to put on this wall. And it has to be... I already have that one. I feel like I don't have enough artwork. Ooh, what about the chicken? Also, that's gigantic. Does he come in another color? He does. Ooh, we're going to put the chicken there. Unless I find something else. Let's keep looking, though. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's just a steel. Never seen that before in my life. Never seen it. Um, hmm. Ooh, I want to put those somewhere upstairs. Let's see. I don't think I like any more of these. They're just kind of blah. Ooh, what about this? Yeah, I'm going to put that in the hallway. On the way up the stairs. And I am going to size it down because it's humongous. There. You can look at that on the way up the stairs. I feel like I need like a plant or something in here. It's just kind of blah looking. Also, no thank you, Vlad. No thank you. These are gigantic. Ooh, okay. I want this instead. I'm going to delete this. I feel like this fits the... Yeah. Nice. It looks like home interior decor from the freaking 80s. <laughs> I need a plant in here now. Maybe like in this corner. That's the ugliest plant ever. Some of these are low-key. So gross. That one's too big and floofy. Ooh. Ooh. What does this look like? Way too big. But I am going to still use it because it's super cute. That's from my wedding stories. I feel like that's also low-key home interior. What color should I make it? I think I'll make it orange. See, that's so cute. Here, let's put the... Okay, we got the ceiling. That is so... Well, actually, I do not like that color. Let's change it. Hmm. Yellow? Yellow goes much better. That orange was just like kind of out of place there. Although now the more that I stare at it. What about this terracotta? What about this snake plant? That one's always too big. That one's too small. Do I want to do this one? I like that flower though. I just feel like it's kind of an awkward height. I feel like it needs to be a little bit higher. But when I size it up, it's way too big. What colors does this come in? Oh, that's ugly too. Okay. Fleurs? That's just like a tabletop flower. I don't like that. These you can size up pretty. That's way too big. Oh, I want to put these sunflowers somewhere. Oh, they're so cute. Also, stop acting like that. Oh my god, they're gigantic. Okay, I think I'm going to move this pile of mail somewhere. I'm going to move this pile of mail back under there. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to stick those there and see what that looks like. Okay. Cute. I really love those sunflowers. I love it. So cute. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I know there's like a few people watching. I'm just kind of like doing my own thing. 
Um, I'm building the little historical home that you see there in the corner. It's a Sears and Roebuck home from 1918, I think. So that's why it kind of looks like this. So I have the creepy pictures in the stairwell. I think I want to do one more variation of this. Let's go up another level. And then I'll try to look down here. And then place, there we go, the other ones in there. And let's change that swatch. Are they different people? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Although the frame's a different color. Hold on. Um, there we go. Okay, same color frame. And then I think I'm going to carry this wallpaper up the stairs too. This beehive. There we go. Might do a different color in the hall though. Cool deal. Okay, so we have the whole first floor. Oh no, I forgot the bathroom. Oh my God, I almost forgot the bathroom. Also, I feel like this room looks really empty. I think I need to add something else in here. Like another, I don't know. It's just like a reception area. I don't know, I'll think about it. We'll say, I almost forgot about the downstairs bathroom. I need to put a bathroom in there. Let's get the door going here kind of bathroom door something just kind of regular no there we go I'm gonna move this light I'm gonna actually move this over a smidge there we go almost forgot the bathroom gear lord okay oh, I cannot believe I almost forgot the bathroom okay Historically accurate bathroom. Probably not a shower in it, I would say. I don't know. Um, I'm just probably going to do a bathtub. And just like a regular one. There we go. Um, I know. So I'm going to put the toilet over here. I'm going to put the sink over here. But I want to do a pedestal sink. Because they didn't, for some reason, have, like, a lot of countertop space. Almost every house that I go into that's around this age, for some reason, and I want to do a medicine cabinet. But they don't, I guess this would be a medicine cabinet. Hmm. And for some reason, I have a feeling this bathroom would be, like, I don't know. What color do I think it would be? I know it would for sure be all tile. Because they are obsessed with tile. Maybe like a white tile. This one. Or gray. I know they wouldn't do gray. Art deco. No, that's too modern. I'm thinking like the sterilized color. That looks dirty. I think it would be blue. Okay. Like, and then we'll do, where's the sterilized version of this? Plain Jane floor tiles. Also, I don't think they have flooring that matches this. So, let's see. We'll just do, yeah, I kind of like that. I feel like they wouldn't have like a lot going on in the bathroom. There'd probably be like a laundry basket over here. I'm gonna go back to decor. Yeah, a laundry basket here. And then I'll put like, come on, cooperate. A towel rack. Oh, can't forget your teepee. Toilet paper. I think there'd be a towel rack above the tub. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, yellow. A yellow vibe. And then I think there might be like one of these moments, like a bathroom organizer, but not that one. Also, I feel like this would be here because there was no shelving whatsoever. I kind of feel like that would be there. 
because they had no built-in anything. And then I want a organizer. Also, uh, I feel like the medicine cabinet, my grandma's house was like this. The medicine cabinet was above the toilet. I think I am going to do this in white, though. Maybe? Brown? White? I think I want to do that dark wood grain. I guess it depends what this other organizer color is. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think... Let's see. I'm going to scooch over here. I think I'm going to actually stick that there. Let's see. Oh, the corners stick through the wall. How far can I move the toilet over? Quite significantly. Let's move this over here. Come on. Okay, perfect. You get in the shower. You take your dirty clothes off. I feel like this should be brown then. Or I should turn everything white. No, that's cool. I don't know. I think it should be white. I think that's better. I'll do the white. Although that's a lot of white. Good lord. Ooh, we could do that blue. I like that better. That gives it a lot more personality if it's blue. Gosh, this bathroom's tiny. We're a four bedroom house and you have one bathroom and it's downstairs where nobody. I mean, what happens if you have to pee in the middle of the night? You have to come all the way down a flight of stairs at like 2 a.m. and then you share a bathroom with who God knows how many people. Let's see. Fuzzy rug. I want something blue, so I'm going to search by color. Blue? Ooh. Also, what is this? It's a club rug. That's so dumb. Is this one too weird? That's ugly. That's hideous. This one? That's ugly, too. Mm, what about this? Also, that looks really weird. Ooh. I low-key kind of like that. So I think I might move the laundry basket. I think I might move it here. Come on, straighten yourself out there. Get it together, would you? There we go. Just trying to stick it up against the wall. And I think I might move the sink over just a smidgen. And I'll play test that because that's a tight squeeze there. That's a tight squeeze. That's cute, right? I feel like this is historically accurate. They had absolutely no countertop space. Although I feel like something needs to go here. Like on the wall or something. It's looking kind of sad in here. Where are those? Where are they at? A fish? <laughs> Some of this wall decor is so dumb. A nature path walk? You can put your diploma set in the bathroom. That's hideous. What the heck's this? Oh, I feel like that's a good bathroom pick. I'm gonna size it down. The thing's huge. Look at that. Love it. Cool. Oh, you know what? I am gonna get rid of the overhead light and I'm gonna put a wall sconce in instead. Lighting? Which one? Ooh, these are ugly. What is this? Active lot siren. Ooh, this is a moment. I'm gonna size that down just a smudge. 
So I'm going to put one on each side. That one's down a little lower. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so... And then we'll delete that. Okay. And then I feel like I need another one above the tub here. I love it. And then maybe like one right there. Oh, it looks just like my grandmother's bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Yay. I did the bathroom. I guess that's, that's dated, right? That's dated-ish. That kind of looks like my grandmother's bathroom. And her house was from the 1920s. I feel like I want a runner, though, in this hallway. That looks very empty. So let's go look at rugs. And I want, like, a long rug. And I want a... Not that one. Uh, here we go. This comes in pink, too. I want it in cream. Let's see. Love it. And it goes with the wallpaper, too. Yeah, I just feel like that hallway looked really empty. I am going to move it down just a little bit. There we go. I like that. I haven't done the outside or anything yet. Okay. I think I'm going to save the upstairs. Oops. For another day. Because I'm done with the downstairs. So here's what we got so far. We have the living room. We have the, I guess the reception hall is what they called it. Just kind of like an entryway moment here. The formal dining room. Which I feel like, I like a lot of clutter, so. But uh, this is cute. The formal dining room. I'm gonna bring us them here and set the table. The kitchen, which I love, love, love the kitchen. It's so cute and cluttered. And then we have the bathroom. I like that. I don't know if I like that rug. Let's see what other swatches we have. That's just, what the heck? That's a basketball court. That's gross. Oh, uh, little whales. Ooh, this one's cute. Let's see what else we got here. I was going to do that one because I, I feel like that other one just didn't bob. Yeah, so I like that. I like this hallway sconces too. I think I'm going to go through and add like wall lighting next time because I don't think that a house like this would have overhead lighting in my opinion anyway. But anyways, that's cool. And then I got the outdoor, let's see, yeah. Got the little pictures going upstairs. And then I already picked out the wallpaper for one of the rooms there. So we'll do the bathrooms on the next stream. So that's cool. Well, thanks for hanging out today with me, guys. If you hopped in, make sure you take a second to like the stream. It really helps me out. Make sure, if you haven't already, that you subscribe and leave a comment down below. Don't know when I'm going to stream next. Don't really have a schedule or anything going, but uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.